Hi Dr. Sundar. My friend has been diagnosed with breast cancer and she is undergoing chemotherapy. This chemotherapy is much painful. If yes, how to reduce the pain? Pain is something which we are all worried about and we want to reduce it as much as possible. Now, every patient who goes for chemotherapy thinks that chemotherapy is painful. But why is it painful? There are reasons for it. I'll classify the pain of chemotherapy into two groups. One, the pain during chemotherapy and the two or second group, the pain after chemotherapy. Now, pain during chemotherapy happens because of the injection itself. Because every time, most of the chemotherapies are injectables. They have to be given into the veins. So when the patient goes through multiple cycles of chemotherapy, they exhaust all the veins in their hands. So that becomes very painful as this, our healthcare workers have to keep on pricking and looking for new veins. In addition to finding new veins, the vein which is pricked can only be used once because it completely gets blocked after one use because the chemotherapy drugs are very, very toxic. What do we do for that? There are various techniques which have been used for avoiding these multiple pricks. One of them which has been used for a very long time is what is called as PICC line. That is, you know, it's a peripherally introduced central catheter where it, which is put from the arm. So one tip of it will be lying outside and the patient has to take care of that portion which is lying outside. So that is a cumbersome thing because patient has to take the responsibility of it. Patient cannot swim. It is difficult to maintain the line. So a newer technique which is available is what is called as a indwelling catheter. There are many companies which are available for that what are called as permacat, there is chemoport. There are many available but they are the permanent indwelling catheters which are put under the skin of the patient. So, patient does not have any responsibility towards that port. It is maintained by the healthcare workers or the nursing staff who are chemotherapy nurses. And once the chemotherapy is over, once the needle is removed from the port, the patient can go swim as well. So, there is absolutely no responsibility required from the patient's side to manage it, unlike the PICC catheter. And patient is free. And most of the times, compared to the other forms of administration of chemotherapy, the chemo port is the best and the easiest for the patient. Now, other reasons for pain do exist and we have to manage them with, you know, medications for pain relief during chemotherapy. What happens after chemotherapy, different reasons altogether. There are some long-term side effects of chemotherapy that lead to a condition called peripheral neuropathy. This happens with some a group of drugs called taxanes are the most common to cause these. But there are many other drugs which can cause it. This side effect of chemotherapy can last for a few years or for lifetime as also. If this pain is severe, it is possible for us to treat with some medications which reduce this pain. Otherwise, it is better to go on. If it is a tolerable pain, it is better not to take anything. Overall, the acute pain of chemotherapy can be very well avoided using chemo ports and it's a very effective method which many of the patients who go for chemotherapy opt for today. Thank you.